Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'll show you how you can set up the gallery view in a normal SharePoint list. With Microsoft Lists, Microsoft has released the ability to set the gallery view for the Asset Manager template. Now, there is this possibility in every SharePoint list. You can easily have a nice look and feel of your list items in cards. But before to jump in, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss my next videos. Ok, let's go! Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams in the browser open. I have a tab here called Asset Manager. I created this list across Microsoft Lists reusing the template Asset Manager. Clicking on this drop-down, I am able to change the view of this list and I have the gallery view here available. Microsoft has released this kind of view for every SharePoint list. That means that if I want to have this view in this normal SharePoint list, I can easily change it by clicking on this drop-down and here we go, I have now this gallery view available. Clicking on it, I am able to change the look and feel of this list and I will have now cards instead of list items. I can select every card as a normal items, then I can even edit in grid view easily and the view will change in list items view, but when I click on exit from the grid view edit mode, I will have again the gallery view available. So now I want to make more nice this card by adding uh, an image. So how I can do that? Let me open this list in SharePoint and I have this new tab in the browser which open exactly this Teams SharePoint list. So what I will do now is click on Add column and I will create an image column. This image column will be our thumbnail. Clicking on save, I have now this new column and this will be our thumbnail. So clicking on HR now, I will add a new image and this will be HR. I have an image already available here. Here we go. The first is me image is it's uploaded. Now I will select another image for IT as well. Here we go. I have another image for communication, but this image is a WebP. So if I try to upload this image, we will have this message that tell me that I can upload only PNG or JPEG. So then let me click on the pencil and I will add another, another image. Let's say this one for, commun for communication. Then marketing. I have a marketing image. And finally sales. Here we go. All images are correctly uploaded. I am able now to change the gallery view. And here I here we go. We have the gallery view in this list which is pretty nice. So I can even click on format current view and I can format this card view in terms of information that I want to have on it. So I have here now this card designer. If you click on edit card, you are able to check this option, for example, and you are able to display the column name if you want, or maybe you want to hide country. You can do that. You can even avoid to display the preview so the image will be not available. But let me click now on, on this option in order to hide the column name. I don't want to have on it. I will save now these settings and now I have this nice gallery view.
on my list. Let me go back now on Microsoft Teams. In this tab, I embedded a SharePoint page where I have two weapons here. The first one is the Teams SharePoint list and the second one is the Projects SharePoint list. As you have seen before, we have created a new column thumbnail with an image of every item. So now I want to change the the view in gallery view and I want to save this gallery view as a default view. In order to do that you have to click on the drop down again and then save view as. If you use the same name all items basically you will override the list view with the gallery view and now the gallery view is available as a default gal default view. If I click now on an item, the second list will react and will filter the item. I made a video how you can play with it. This is called dynamic list filtering. You can check the link in the description of this video or you can click in the link in the top right corner right now. Last thing that I want to call out is the ability to comment an item. In fact, if I click on marketing, for example, this will open a new tab in the browser. In SharePoint, I will have this item in full screen mode and I have now this new panel available, comments. I can type in something here, for example, as a reminder for me, for example, uh, please check if delete this one. And now this comment is saved. I can delete it or I can leave as a reminder for me or for my colleagues. Let me show you now how it looks like this list with another user. I have here another browser instance open it and I am connected as Ligu. If I refresh this tab now I will have as a default view the gallery view that I set up. Clicking now on marketing, I am able to read the comment that Giuliano De Luca has left just some seconds ago. Okay, that was a quick tutorial how you can set up the gallery view in a SharePoint list and how you can use comments in every items. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time, bye!